until now, things have been pretty limited to what you can achieve in Excel with AI. It can help you with formulas, and the latest version of ChatGPT can analyze Excel files pretty well. Microsoft Copilot has been disappointed so far, especially in Excel, considering how much the Pro version costs. Now, with the latest version of Claude, with Sonnet, I think you can take it to the next level in Excel. We're talking creating complete files built from, e from VBA mode. And it's not as complicated as it sounds. And in this video, I'm going to give you a demo on what is possible with a well-crafted prompt. And I believe it's going to change the way we create financial models in Excel going forward. And it's by no means perfect, but as a beginning point, it's pretty darn good. And I think it's only gonna get better. So let's paste a prompt into Claude. And I'll talk through this, this prompt. Now let's write VBA code for a detailed three statement financial projection on separate sheets. This should have two columns for 2022 and 2023 actual numbers and two columns for 2024 and 2025 projections. Put numbers into 2022 and 2023 for me to update. Make sure all formulas are included and the income statement rolls into the balance sheet and cash flow and balance sheet numbers roll into the cash flow. Auto fit the columns and format sheet headings and row spacing to make it visually appealing. There should be checks to make sure everything stays in balance. And after the code is generated, recheck for any formula errors. Now let's see how it gets on with this prompt. Okay, it should start generating the code in the right window, which it does. And you can follow along some of this code as it's generating. Some of the income statement, balance sheet. Finally, the cash flow. The final checks and it tells you how to get this code into Excel. You're going to copy this window, go into Excel, Alt F11 to enter the VBA code. So we want to insert module and let's paste that in, go back to the sheet, go to developer macros and then create this final projection. Okay, let's go through each sheet to see how well it did. So, revenue, we got numbers 2022, 2023, which he asked it for. Cost of sales, the same. The formulas look good. Let's just check the formulas further on. Uh, Operating expenses, operating income, that looks good. Income before taxes, net income. Okay, so that all looks good. Done exactly what we asked on the income statement. So balance sheet. Okay, cash. Custodial inventory, current assets. That formula looks good. That formula looks good. Total assets, yep. Liabilities, let's jump down to total liabilities, long term plus current. That all looks good. Equity, retained. Earnings, that came from the income statement B12. B12, got that right. Let's just see if we're further on. Sorry, retained D12. D12, yep, that worked. And this balance check, yep, 
we just need to fill in some numbers. We didn't ask it to put the numbers in so they balance. That's okay. Cash flow, net income, it's coming from B12. Yep. C12, D12. Let's look at these changes in accounts receivable. C6 minus B6 on the balance sheet. Well, we got that right. Uh, cash from operating activities, added all that up. Cash from financing. Wow, got that right. It changes in cash. Looks like it got that right. Now let's see if we check in the cash balance on the balance sheet. So C2. Sorry. C22 and it's C5. Okay. Got that right too. So yeah, this has done a pretty good job in building out financial, three statement financial models. Uh, um, as you see, it's not too difficult. Um, sometimes you will get some errors, um, formulas maybe, and you just go back into Claude and um, tell it what errors it came up with. And it usually corrects them pretty quickly and gives you a whole new uh, code to put back into Excel. So, um, I think next time I'm going to dive into something in Claude or projects, which is similar to the custom GPTs in chat GPT. I think it's better though. So I'm going to build a project that simplifies the prompting process for building these Excel models. I think you can take it a step further. So you don't need to have all these long prompts in the beginning. Let's make a custom project to, um, to create these financial models. So make sure you follow me and stay tuned for that one. I'm going to try and record that um, process shortly in the next day or two. So I'll catch you in that one.